Hi, I'm Colin. I'm a fitness expert at Shields. I've been working for Shields for almost 19 years now. So my journey uh, really started out very similar to probably a lot of people's where the calendar had rolled over and I kind of bought into the whole Globo Gym, beach body-esque lifestyle where it was good structurally for one hour trainings. Uh, they were good for a while, you know, and it was uh, probably fell the typical uh, way of stick with it for a month, two, maybe three or six, and would fall off uh, that train. Fast forward three years from that point, um, it's like, I think I could give this CrossFit thing a try. But I had heard CrossFit was really hard. So I'm like, let's give something harder a try. So um, uh, I did a little research and I found this workout uh, called Murph. And I'm like, it looked excellent. And, and for those that don't know, Murph is a, a one mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, followed by another one mile run, all while wearing a 20 pound vest. And I said, that's definitely hard. And uh, if I figure if I could do that, I could prove whether I liked it or not. Get through it, it's like an hour and 10 minutes later, and I'm laying on the ground, and all I could think is, I want more of this feeling. I, I would tell you my nutrition journey was probably similar to my uh, fitness journey where I knew a little bit about it. So I think it started by just having a basic knowledge of it. The second part was, again, reaching out to people and just asking about their knowledge of food. As soon as I learned about that, then it was just a sheer change your environment. My, my breakfast consisted of just eggs and bacon as opposed to cereal. And my lunches consisted of a protein shake instead of eating out for lunch. And then suppers were always around the family, whatever the family had for supper. It evolved into thinking more about, well, what's natural? You know, what is, what is natural? And for me, a protein shake for lunch is not natural. So changing that up to a salad and chicken for lunch, I just said, I'm gonna have that every day. So I started to tell myself a story about who I was. And I just kept saying, well, what would a healthy person eat? Would a healthy person eat that shake? Would a healthy person eat that ice cream? And I said that over and over again. And finally it just became, I'm the type of person that doesn't eat McDonald's. I'm the type of person that eats a salad for lunch. And I just told myself that story over and over again and it just became easier and easier. And right away it wasn't easy. But just the consistent story helped get me to where I am today. So I think what I enjoy about the hurt or feeling the pain or going to that really dark place in a workout is the after effect. It's the knowing that once I'm through this, I've done something really difficult. Just that knowing, uh, I know it's gonna make me better long term. It's probably not gonna make me better in an hour or two or a day or a week or a month, but in my mind, I know long term, the long distant horizon of that hurt in that moment is just gonna make it better. And here's the thing, like if you want something bad, like you want something, you gotta realize you're gonna have to go through a lot of hurt, especially in a workout, to get to that. You have to be of a mindset that, hey, I'm looking at something that is a betterment for a long distant horizon and that's what I'm aiming for. So in the moment, yeah, it isn't that much fun, but if you have that mindset of long term, it's gonna be worth it. What I do to get through those hard workouts is, I just, I just think, you know what, it's, it's 10 minutes, or it's 15 minutes, or it's only 20 minutes of my day. And typically, once I'm done, I'm always of that mindset that that was the best hour of my day. And in the moment, it probably wasn't, but afterwards is, is, was the benefit of it. So I just, I, I keep telling myself a story that it's only, five minutes or it's only 10 minutes or it's only a 15 minute workout. I got the rest of my day to rest if I need rest. So if I can get through those 15 minutes, I'm gonna be a lot better because of it.